and welcome to this episode of Kit Corner. Today, I'm going to be talking about communications and more specifically, this little radio. This is the UV5RA uh, ham, handheld ham radio by Bao Feng. Uh, these little radios are handy for in the field communications or communications between a team and a base. Um, this little radio is what we use in search and rescue for inter-team comms and this is the main radio for the CAA's rapid response teams which are our disaster response teams. Now this little radio as you can see is pretty small and it comes with quite a few accessories straight out of the box. You get a lanyard that you can attach to it, comes with a battery, belt clip, and antenna and then you get a charging station and then the power cord for the charging station just plugs in the back like that and you plug this in to charge it you set that right there a little red light will come on right here that indicates that it's charging and then when the light turns green that indicates that the battery is fully charged now the radio to operate it's pretty simple turn this knob here that turns it on it can scan it can Transmit on one channel and scan another channel, or you can transmit on one channel and receive on a different channel, depending upon how you program it. Um, you can cycle through channels and various different options. Um, I'm not going to go into all the options on this radio right now because there are so many to them. Um, depending upon how you have the radio configured, there's tons of different things you can do with them. Um, they're really handy little devices in that they are so versatile. Uh, another thing that's nice about this radio is you can take the antenna off like so uh, in fact it will come with the antenna off to fit in the box but then you can attach a ham antenna to it or extend, they actually sell extended antennas that are uh, quite a bit longer for better reception or you could mount it to your belt or something and if you had an antenna on your backpack you could screw it in or you could even use this uh, as a base station if you attach it into a base station antenna system now on the back you have the belt clip here, just spring loaded, um, and the battery. So you can easily attach this to your belt or even on like Molly or PALS loops if you uh, so wished. Now, the battery itself is a lithium ion, and uh, you just you can charge it while it's on the radio, or you can take the battery off. Um, I have to, ah, battery releases up here, push that, and it comes off. Now, these little battery packs, uh, on a full charge, you can last quite a while. We've had them out for more than a day, uh, running pretty continuously, haven't had any problems. They do actually now sell an extended battery pack you can get for these radios, so that you can have even more battery life with them. Uh, you can also get multiple of these little batteries so that when you're in the field, you just click it in and boom, you're ready to go again. Um, these radios, uh, they're not advertised as being waterproof or water resistant, but we've taken them out in search and rescue and gotten them completely soaked and haven't had any issues at all. We've used them in snow and in inclement weather, um, just hanging out on our packs and it was, it was good to go. Um, the radio to communicate, you have a call button here which sends out a blanket call to everyone else on the same frequency. The push to talk button, uh, which is right here, uh, just push and then talk straight away. And then um, this little button down here has several different functions depending upon how the radio is programmed. But that's the monitor button. Also has a little light up here which you can configure uh, to be different colors and you can act as a flashlight. Now one thing that's nice that doesn't come with this radio but is an option is it has a port on the side for a handheld mic. And this is what we use because it's easier than having to hold the radio for communication. So now I can put the radio in a pouch or attach it to my belt or on my pack somewhere and then I have this little mic. Um, these mics, this is a Baofeng mic, are available online. Um, you can get several different styles this one was, I believe, $17, but they range in price from as low as like $15 up to $50, depending upon what you want to get. 
The connector is a pretty standard connector, so pretty much any of these little mics will work. Um, the one I like about this one, on top of being Baofeng and meant to work with this radio, it has a hole in the bottom here for earpieces or throat mics. It has a little light that turns on to show that you're transmitting. Then it has a clip on the back. The clip can be rotated around any direction so you can fit on gear however you want. Um, and then of course, transmit button. And then the mic acts as a uh, um, speaker as well. So, the radio itself can be purchased. Uh, we got ours from Amazon, but they can be purchased from a variety of websites for between $40 and $50. Uh, recently, I saw them as low as $40 on Amazon. It just kind of depends. There's lots of different models. This is a 5R. UV5RA and there's a newer one out which is the UV5RA Plus I believe which is the absolute newest version. Um, basically the radios are essentially the same but the different versions of firmware on them so the firmware helps it to function better but in, in, in for they, these are $17 so you know that's a pretty cheap radio uh, setup especially for a basic ham radio like this is. So these radios are very versatile, as I mentioned earlier, but to program them, you have to have this. This is the USB programming cable. Um, it's specifically designed for these radios. It's made by Balafang as well. Now, the programming cable plugs in just like the mic would, uh, and then plugs into your computer with USB. But these radios are fairly complicated. In fact, many of the reviews online said that unless you're pretty knowledgeable about radios and computers, not to try and uh, attempt to program these. And we have programmed them uh, for our rapid response team, and it's pretty complicated. The software you have to get um, can be, you just Google it online, Baofeng programming software, and you'll find several different versions. Um, and you download the software, and you have to get a driver for the cable as well, which comes on a disc. Usually, it come, the disc comes with the cable. And then you have to go through a series of stages for the computer to be able to talk to the radio. But then once you have the software installed and it's all ready to go, uh, then downloading the programs themselves is pretty straightforward. But the software we chose to go with was Chirp. Um, there's another big one out there, but I don't remember the name of it. Um, Chirp is only compatible with certain operating systems, though, so you have to look. But then once you have it hooked up to your computer, you can create the list of frequencies you want and then just download it and you can clone it to multiple radios. So all of our radios have the same programs because we clone them. Um, another note about these little dudes is they are ham radios, which means you either have to have a commercial license or the organization you're working for has to have a commercial or business radio license to be able to use these or you have to be ham certified. Otherwise, uh, you are not authorized to use these, and if the FCC finds out about it, you'll be slammed with a pretty big fine. So you don't want to go just picking one of these up and messing around with it just, you know, for basic, like, family communication, something like that. You'd want a F FRS radio, which are those cheap little radios you can pick up anywhere. Those are unrestricted. Um, because they're lower power and they operate on a select number of frequencies. This has access to all the ham bands, which are all restricted. You have to be licensed. So if you do pick up one of these radios, make sure you have that license. Now, um, this little radio is pretty small and compact. Service-wise, like out in the field, uh, it works really good. We have You can use repeaters with it, obviously, but without a repeater, you have... We've had ranges of around five to six miles, depending on what the terrain's like and atmospheric conditions. Well, that's with the high power setting. Um, these have these are four watt radios, and they can transmit either on four watts or one watt. So you can turn them down. So if you're using like MERS, which has a watt restriction, you want to turn them down to the one watt setting. Um, otherwise, it would transmit on four watt. Now, for search and rescue. We do use these for inter-team comms. However, we're issued this, which is a traditional Kenwood ham radio. Also has a mic similar to this one. Now the Kenwoods are 
pretty high end as far as radios are concerned. Um, they can cost upwards of hundreds of dollars depending on what model you get. Uh, obviously it's a little bit bigger, larger battery pack, also has a belt clip. Um, has two different knobs on top. You have a channel changing knob and a radio or a volume and on off knob. Um, this just has the volume knob because all the channel changing stuff is on the keypad. Now these two radios side by side. Um, performance wise this one is going to have more range just because it's a bigger radio, more power, the antenna is bigger, um, and you know it's it's a pretty top of the line radio. But the downside is you know you're looking at hundreds of dollars here, and then plus programming these requires special software as well. This radio here, you know, forty dollars plus seventeen for the mic. And then, if you want to program it, the cable is like between five and ten dollars. The software is free. So, performance-wise, yeah, this can have more range, but and it sometimes is a little has a little more clarity, uh, especially when the signal is not real strong. And sometimes this one with this, has a weaker signal, the clarity is not as good. But really, the differences are fairly negligible, especially with the huge price gap between the two radios. So if you're looking for a, and you're certified, you're looking for a radio for uh, disaster relief or just talk to your friends, then you might want to consider the Baofeng UV5RA. Um, if you're a serious radio enthusiast, then the UV5RA is still a pretty good bet. It's a very reliable radio and they're cheap. So I mean, if it does go out on, you can replace it easily. And the differences between it and the high end are are not real great. So um, we've been using these for several months now and we're definitely sold on the Baofangs. And uh, I'll see you next time on Kit Corner.